Hello everyone that is just joining us or is watching the video, which you could be doing because I just started recording the video. This is a game between Triple L and um, 1A? IA? I don't know. Wait, I'm gonna ask. Um, Okay, so, anyway, <laughs> we've got an Ari Ben, Shen Ben, Anivia Ben, and Shenny Ben. Um, it's Invicti Artenai for the Benelux ESL, apparently. So, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, okay, so an Ari Ben, because Ari is really strong, mobile. Really good late game, does true damage. Um, Morgana ban because of Morgana. You know, she's just really strong in team fights because she stuns and she has a snare and, you know, she does good damage. She's pretty safe in the lane. Um, Shen, because he's OP, I don't think I have to mention that. Anivia is probably a bit of a target ban and um, Anivia's just really good because of her wall. Gives her a lot of control in team fights. Uh, we got a Rise ban. Rise is a pretty good hyper carry, does a lot of damage and is also very tanky late game. Um, and then Lee Sin, well you know Lee Sin is highly mobile, can go top and jungle, just generally a good champion and apparently it's a targeted ban or something. And this is the third round of the ESL for the Benelux which is um, Holland, Belgium, or the Netherlands, Belgium and Luxembourg, Burg, something like that. Anyway, so first pick is going to be Soraka, apparently they didn't want Janna but um, Soraka is really good too. Um, those are probably the two best supports right now. Uh, I'd say Soraka, Janna, and Lulu, and possibly Alistair, but Alistair's mostly played as a jungler nowadays. So on the other side we've got the Janna Ash pickup, really strong lane. Um, Sneaky's a pretty good Ash, and um, Janna is just regarded as the best support right now. Got picked or banned in, um, I think, 90% of the games at IPL, something like that. Won most of them as well. Yeah, she's just really strong. Um, so we get a Skarn and an Urgot. Urgot Strike is actually a really strong lane. And um, Urgot gets quite tanky late game. He's pretty good. Um, and then Skarner has not seen a lot of favor lately. But um, I'd say he's still a pretty good champion. Uh, pretty quick jungler. As soon as he gets level 6, his ganks are really strong. And we've got a Nautilus pickup for in the jungle. And ooh, the Belgian Beast is going to play Twisted Fate. That is pretty awesome. And why that is pretty awesome? Basically, he is one of the best Twisted Fates around. And wow, a Mordekaiser to pick up. I really like that. Uh, Mordekaiser is really strong against um, Twisted Fate. And um, it will be very interesting to see how that's going to turn out. And we've got a Warwick pickup as well, which is a bit of a dick move because Warwick's OP. I hate that champion nowadays. I mean, I like playing him, but he's annoying to play against. Um. Um, I'm just typing something right now. Okay. Um, so we've got a Renekton pickup for Mr. Youngbuck, and um, he is one of the best Renektons on the EU servers. Um, he says he's the best. I'm not sure if that's true, but apparently he's known for it. And, um,. Yeah, let's go through the runes and masteries real quick. Um, so first off is Mr. Urgot, played by Aspel, and he is going to be running um, physical damage, armor, crit chance, uh, armor pan, and scaling magic resist. It's funny that it's got 80 top. I don't know if he's going to be playing 80 top. I guess not, but maybe he is. And he's going to go for the oldie oldie. 2190. Um, oh, yeah, it makes that sound. I forgot about that. I'm gonna actually turn that off real quick if I can find this thing. Uh, while we go to the profile of Alibaba, who is playing Janna, and he's gonna have uh, Gulpatan, Armor, and Magic Resist, and he's gonna go for 0921. 
And I'm screwing up my order, but that doesn't really matter. Mr. Anguish playing the Soraka is going to be using cooldown reduction, a lot of armor, and gold patan. And um, he's got some armor as well. I think I already mentioned that, but that doesn't matter. 0 9 21 is going to be his master race. And um, um, next up is Mr. Sneaky playing the Ash and he is going to go with the 80 armor and scaling magic resist and he's going for 21-1-8 the 1 is for the heal and um, then he's got 18 utility yeah he doesn't really need our, any of those I mean the, cr the runic affinity for a buff is kind of handy but not really necessary especially not on 80 carry so next up is Warrex playing uh, Skarner and he's going to have attack speed, movement speed, armor, and magic resist. And his masteries are going to be 0 0.21.9. Next up is the other jungler who is Funi playing Nautilus. He is going with everything runes. It's armor, attack speed, and physical damage. And he is going for the 9.21.0 uh, setup. Pretty usual for junglers who have 21 in defense. Uh, that tree is pretty much made for the junglers. Uh, so next up is Mr. Rarely. I don't know why I call him Mr. But hey, and he is Warwick playing with the physical damage, magic resist, and armor. And his masteries are going to be two twenty one seven. Um, that's actually kind of interesting. Usually people like go for nine in a three, but um, he isn't apparently. And Young Buck is going to play with. Scaling magic resist, physical damage, and armor, and he's going for 2190. Next up is Sarlok playing Mordekaiser with a cleanse, which is kind of interesting. Usually, you don't see uh, cleanses in mid. He's got movement speed, the same ones I've got. Wah -wah. Uh, magic pan, armor, and magic resist, and he is going to go for 2181. Uh, the mass magic resist is going to be useful in mid lane against the Twisted Fate poke. And um, Belgian Beasts playing the Twisted Fate is going to have experience runes. Wow, not even experience runes. That's interesting. He's got movement speed, magic pen, scaling health, and AP. And he's going for the 2109. Usually, Belgian Beast goes for um, experience runes for uh, the extra health it gives. Apparently, that's really useful on the AP carries. So, I'll trust him on that. And we're going to jump right into the game as soon as I can click fast enough. Here we go. So we've got a nice little lowering screen here, and um, yeah, so Mordekar has gone with the cleanse. It's probably because of um, Ash's um, Enchanted Crystal Arrow. It's mostly because uh, Mordekaiser is really strong and really hard to kill because he heals, and um, uh, he never dies because he's always got shield. Um, wah wah burr burr. And um, uh, if he gets CC though, he has he is going to have a problem. Um, because if we see it, he can't use the spells and he can't uh, keep his shield up. Um, so that's why he's got cleanse and um, also against ignites and exhausts if necessary. <coughs> Other than that, the uh, summoner spells are pretty usual. We've got the exhausts on the supports, don't feel like using CV apparently. And um, yeah, what I'm going to look for is a lot of pressure bots from. Uh, actually from both sides there's a good amount of pressure because Ash Janna does a lot of damage um, but they're most likely going to be farming and um, Soraka Urgot is a really aggressive lane because Soraka can give the mana to Urgot and Urgot is just going to spam his spells all day long no problem as well as the heals obviously so they're going to be able to pin win poke wars even though Janna is one of the best supports for trading um, up top, I am unsure how that matchup goes. Um, apparently, Youngbuck felt confident in his Renekton versus Warwick um, uh, matchup because he did pick it after Warwick got picked, um, but I'm not sure. And obviously, what we're going to be looking for is the um, Twisted Fate ultimate going to gank bot and possibly top, but most likely bot. Um, and good luck, have fun going, getting thrown around. And I've got a tiny bit of lag. So I'm going to go and turn some stuff off, because you know, screw lag, okay, should be good now. And um, there seems to be 
Uh, well, they're forming up. Uh, probably not invading. I mean, they could. They've got a. Uh, Janna has got his pick a card, so he has a stun. They've got a stun, and Janna hasn't gone on her Q or E yet, but she could get her Q. And um, no spells on Nautilus either. There's going to be the uh, stun on Renekton. So they've got a decent amount of CC, but they don't seem to be going for it. Um, the other team has got a really bad level 1, actually. I mean, they can buck decently, but they are not. They don't have a lot of CC, so it's probably a bad idea. Um, Triple L is looking around, making sure that they didn't get invaded. And ooh, they might be invading. They seem to be invading... Um, from here, that's not that's not very usual to happen. Um, they're grouping up now so that they go in at the same time. And Youngbuck is going to be first here. He's going to flash, but it's not going to be enough. And Solik is going to flash away too. Funi also uses his flash. So that's three flashes, two on the side of Triple L. Um, so that's not too great for them. And Warwick is going to go right for the enemy blue. Isn't even going to bother checking if they uh, did his. And they are going to go and pick his up. So um, <coughs> that's going to be uh, the enemy blue buff for Mr. Fooney here. And um, neither of them has done wolves, but um, Skarner is quite a bit faster um, than Fooney, so Fooney is going to really regret not having uh, those f 15 seconds at the start. And um, Sneaky actually discovered that they are doing blue, but he can't really do much about it because it's going to be a 2 versus 3. And uh, Warwick's getting quite a big pool here. He's going to have a crit on me though, and here comes the tornado. They have to retreat. Well done there. Uh, the blue does the aggro. Well done by Sneaky and Alibaba there. They actually um, stopped Invicti Artana from uh, taking the um, blue buff, which is really good for them. Um, they didn't take the minion, so they don't know the timer on the enemy blue buff, but it's probably better to make sure that Skarnet doesn't get his blue for a long time. Because between not getting theirs and not getting his own, it's going to be a while. Um, it's going to be at least five minutes and probably more uh, from now. Yeah, definitely more, but it's going to be more than five minutes. Uh, we've had a blue buff, and that's not too great for Skarner. Skarner is pretty mana intensive since they nerfed him. And um, at the moment, there is not a lot going on. Asbo is harassing Sneaky quite a bit. He doesn't have the mana regen from Sraki yet, though, so maybe you should try to keep it down a bit if he's not sure he's going to hit it. Uh, his Q on in, and Funi is now going to take his blue, and he's going to be quite a bit ahead of Skarner, and wow, Warrix didn't even clear his camp, so this is going to be ages before the blue gets up. Uh, Funi will be, oh, actually he's going to give the blue buff to Belgian Beast here, Belgian Beast is going to pick that up, so um, for the next blue to spawn, by that time, Skarner will still not have his um, blue buff, and wow, oh. I quickly looked over it, but I still missed it. He actually died to the red buff. Um, yeah, I don't know if it was the best idea to go for the red buff. And um, Funi is just going to go for his own red buff. He's not going to do any strange counter jungling or anything. Um, Aspo getting quite low, even though he rests uh, Alibaba quite a lot. And uh, Solok is going to have to pick up some raves because he's not doing too well in mid. It's kind of hard to do well against a Twisted Fate with blue buff um, at level 4. Especially if you're Mordekaiser so and don't have your Hextech Revolver yet. <coughs> so, yes, Riley and uh, Youngbuck just, you know, chilling. Um, actually, Youngbuck already used all his health pots, and there's going to be a bit of damage going down on Aspo here. He's not going to quite die, though. Um, what I was saying is that um, um, Riley has used three health pots, and so has Youngbuck, but Youngbuck's not got any left, so. Um, the lane is in favor of Riley at the moment, but oh, I don't know the CS counts. They are still, you know, fighting each other, chilling around, and um, we check right now. Youngbuck is 5 CS out of him, but it's not too much. Warwick's actually uh, ganked mid, or tried to take it over, probably ganked it, but didn't really work out because he's level 2. So he's level 2, and Funi is already halfway to level 3. Um, Warwick's is quite a bit behind. He is not in a happy place at the moment. He's got 400 gold, so he, is, he does have enough money for his philosopher as soon as he goes back. But he is quite a bit behind, and um, we're going to have to see how much that affects him later on in the game. And um, wow, what's actually interesting is that there's a regrowth bandit on Alibaba, so apparently 
he didn't feel the need to get more than one ward early game and um, his ward is actually gone now so they could be ganked but then again Warwick's is level 3 doesn't have mana just picked up his rat buff but we'll have to go back to base first um, he's gonna either have his philosopher's stone or his boots he can't have both so it's gonna be hard for him to gank bot lane even though it's not warded and um, Belgian Beast is already level 6 so there might be a three man gank at top he is going in no, he's not going. Mm. Yes, he's got his ultimate on, and he is going to teleport in right now. And here comes his son, and they are going to kill the uh, kill rarely. And there comes first blood. Funi picks up that kill, and um, that's going to make him a very happy Nautilus, because now he's going to have 800 gold, and he's going to have a lot of money in his bank account. Um, not really a bank account, but you know what I mean. <coughs> his gold stash, or his purse. Anyway. So Warx is going to take over the lane to make sure that experience isn't wasted. Um, misses a CS so going to miss another one. Worst player EU, I do it better. Uh, anyway, um, so yeah, at the moment, um, it's not going too well for Infecti Arteni and... Um, or Arteni, I don't know what it is. And Sneaky is going to get some harass on him, but it's not going to bother him that much. And Aspo is not properly positioning himself behind a minion, so he is going to get hit by that fully. And um, so, yeah, what the idea of this Mordekar as a pick is, is that he can shove the lane all the time, so that it's always at the tower, and um, Belgian Beast cannot uh, teleport to a different lane, because then he will lose the tower, or lose uh, at least lose a lot of CS. Um, so that's the logic behind the pick. It's not really working out for them, though. And... Um, And, um, sorry, I had to say yes to someone. Um, and right now, uh, there's not a lot of action going on. Warx is looking for a gank, but I am unsure how well that will do because the lane is pushing, especially with Sarlok doing that stuff. Don't know what exactly the plan was. Um, Warx is going to go and jungle again. Uh, Funi is level 6, he is level 4, and he is like a way faster jungler. So that's not good. Uh, that's a problem. And uh, blue buff of Triple L is going to be spawning in a tiny bit, um, but it's going to be at least like two or three minutes. Um, no, actually, it's going to spawn in two or three minutes, and um, the uh, buff of Infinity of is going to be like five minutes or something, because he did leave the minions uh, there for really long. So, um, what's interesting to note at the moment is that there's very little wards on the map. There's one here, and one here for Infinity of and one here, and Triple L has one here and one here. So there's no ward for top and there's no wards for bottom um, which is kinda strange and Funi did look for a gank there but it didn't quite work out for him there comes the blue buff from triple well, it's gonna be two minutes for the blue buff of um, Fixie Artena. Young Buck going quite aggressive on Rarely, Rarely getting really close to death even made the spectator mode bing there and um, ooh, Funi might be ganking, is he gonna dive? No he's not He's just going to push the minions, and here comes Warrix, but Warrix is level 5, so he's not going to be doing much, and apparently I had to look at Boots. Ooh, it's got Berserk. Huh? Okay, so we've got Naughty Boots with um, Berserker Graves. That's kind of interesting. You usually don't see that on Nautilus, um, because he is a slow character. He doesn't throw his anchor around that much. Maybe that's the reason he wanted the Berserker Graves, though. And Warrix is going to be trying to clear this minion wave. Hope He's probably hoping for Youngbuck to go aggressive on him so that he can do something but he's not level 6 so he can't pull him in here comes Rarely but they don't want to actually go for this they pinged Funi that they cannot go in because then it will be a 2v2 with a pretty big uh, level disadvantage and probably a item disadvantage as well seeing as Skarner doesn't even have his Philosopher's Stone he is really far behind and um, he is not in a happy spot right now and it's kinda sad because they kinda have to do it on their early game well Actually, nah, not really. I lied. So there's going to be a Grasham bolt, and here comes Belgian Beast. Belgian Beast is going to get the sun, and wow, that arrow went right through him, but still hit him. As we're getting really low, Soraka heals are coming out, but here comes the Janna ultimate. Going to get him out of there, but yes, it is going to be enough, and Belgian Beast is going to pick up that that kill for Triple L. Well played by the Janna there. Um, ulted right before the Urgot ultimate uh, worked. If the Urgot ultimate had actually been a second earlier he'd have survived and actually there's going to be a kill up top I actually expected that on Youngbuck but apparently Warwick went down well played by Youngbuck there he uh, 
survived that on his Q and um, apparently Riley shouldn't have ulted. And he says Einstein. So apparently that's really smart of Mr. Youngbuck. <laughs> so um, it's funny that I speak English because um, I'm actually, I don't know. I think Riley is Dutch. I'm not sure. They, well, it should be. It's the Benelux Cup. So yeah, they're all Dutch. But they still speak English. Kinda strange. Anyway. Right now, for the items, we've got Belgian Beast, Wave of Blasting Wand, and two Durance Rings. He's got quite the uh, AP here. He's got 100 AP, and we've got 50 AP on the Mordekaiser with Axe Revolver. So he's got the Spell Thump. Uh, he'll be quite in a, quite a decent position in the lane. And Anguish going to be fighting off Funi here. Uh, Neither of them is going to be doing lots of damage though, so it didn't really work out for either of them. Um, and right now we're at a whopping 11 Furious. Freaking awesome! So, um, Belgian Beast and Solok are going to be trading here, but Belgian Beast is in a way better position. Here comes the ultimate, it's not going to be enough though. Here comes the Funi ultimate, it's going to get popped up, and here comes the stun as well. Well done by Triple L there. Picking up another kill there, 4 for 0 right now. And um, they are just doing really well. Uh, I think the biggest part of that is that Warwick's cannot jungle. Like, okay, he's got his Heart of Gold and his Philosopher Stone now, but he is pretty unable to jungle like he would be doing normally. He's behind on Nautilus, and Nautilus is one of the slowest jungles there is that's still viable. And then um, uh, Skarner is one of the faster ones, so that says a lot. He actually farmed lanes as well. And there's going to be an ultimate down bot from Belgian Beast, and Asbel is going to be ulted. Alibaba looking for the ultimate again, and he is going to be able to do it, most likely. No, he's not even going to have to. And um, Sneaky is going to pick up that kill. Funi and Warwick's juking it out in mid, but Funi is actually beating him. Um, because of those Berserker Graves, he's got more true damage with his wrap buff. That's actually kind of funny. And um, Triple L is going to be going for this dragon right now, and there's going to be a stun guard on Warwick. Warwick's getting really close to that, has to flash out. Sarlok is coming in though. Uh, but Warax can't really go in for that because there was a stun card up and they're gonna take this dragon for free. <coughs> uh, Belgian Beast being quite aggressive. Wow, actually took a lot of damage from the Mordekaiser right there. But he's gonna be just fine. Dragon gets picked up by Triple L and it's gonna be at 18 minutes something. Um, and right now Funi is chasing the Solok with his Q. Um, he's not gonna quite go for it though and Riley is pretty low health as well. Uh, it's not looking really well for Infecti Artuna right now. Tara is going to go down on top, taken down by Youngbuck, or by his minions rather, but you know, pretty much the same thing. He's going to go for the blue now, and they really want this blue, but Youngbuck might be in a really bad position right here. There is going to be an ultimate on him, and here comes the ultimate from Warrix as well. Youngbuck getting really close to death, but just, you know, casually dashes and flashes out of there. You know, he's a crocodile, he doesn't really care. He just does that. Yeah, that's his thing. So, um, Riley is probably going to be picking up this blue buff. Yes, he is. Warwick apparently doesn't need it. And, you know, um, obviously, Soluk is not going to use it. He is Mordekai, so he doesn't have mana. Um, so, at the moment, if you look at the... Um, oh, that's how you do it. Um, this is not what I wanted, though. Okay, so if you look at the wards, there's a ward here and a ward here for Triple L. They've got very little map vision, especially but um, Alibaba not being... Oh shit, where's that? Is that here? Okay, so there was some rush from Belgian Beast. Ooh, that was actually really close to death right there. Um, so anyway, what I was... No, no, here. So for the wards on um, Infixia Eternal's side, there is going to be a ward here. Here, the one at top just ran out. And there's going to be a new one here, and um, they've got slightly better map um, ma vision, but it's not that much on either side. And um, Belgian Beast is going to pick up the tower mid while Youngbuck and Riley are fighting. Um, so, um, do 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 do. okay. So anyway, <laughs> sorry, I was. Uh, Reading something. Oh fuck! Sorry for it for missing that one. Uh, Riley got killed right there by Belgian Beast and Youngbuck, and uh, that was probably an ultimate coming in. Yes, it was an ultimate going in from Belgian Beast. Uh, Solok is going to be going in here. Um, I don't know what he's thinking though. There's a two v one. Actually, it's going to do loads of damage on Belgian Beast. It's probably not going to be enough though because here comes Funi, and Solok is going to be really close to death. Here comes the ultimate. The Nautilus ultimate is going to knock him up. 
He does cleanse out of it, but it's not going to be enough. Actually, he kills Belgian Beast under the tower. I think. Where was that bastard? Uh, it was in the brush. Um, last stick, 19 HP, 22 damage. Well done there. But he still goes down to the Renekton and the... Um, what's his face? Went down to the Young Buck and the uh, Funi, who are Nautilus and Renekton. So, um, down bottom at the moment, Sneaky is going to be getting quite a lot of harass on him. Uh, this is what Aspo and Anguish were going for, but it's not quite worked out for them. Um, if you look at the farm, he's got 79 farm and Sneaky's got 119. So he is uh, 30 CS. No, 40 CS out of him. Master's really hard. And um, in total, they've got two towers more and a dragon, and they're 9k ahead. That shows that they're out farming them pretty badly. Um, so in mid it's just a 10, diff 10 uh, CS difference at top though it's a 30 CS difference and down bot it is a it's now a 30 CS difference but still quite a lot and it's gonna be 40 again and oh here comes the ultimate from Asbo sneaky flashes immediately here comes Sarlok and I don't know if that arrow hit probably did on Asbo went right through him though because buggy and Asbo is gonna retreat but it's not gonna be enough and oh those Belgian beast guards just Two cat, two people. Really well done by him there with that, with those guards taking down Aspel and um, Anguish, and um, he's going to be poking from here. No, he's going to go back, and he is going to go for mid. Uh, most likely, Youngbug is checking it out with Riley. Uh, Zara gets taken down. Not a surprise there. And um, <coughs> yeah, Belgian Beast is going to take down some banked Braves. That's pretty decent. Um, he might be getting caught right now though. Is there going to be an ultimate? Yes, there is going to be an ultimate, and they are going to go for him, and they are going to go and kill him. That's the second kill for uh, Invicti Arternai. Uh, first assist. Both kills are on Sarlacc, who is the person you want the kills on, but still, kind of unfortunate they only have two kills. Um, both of them are a Belgian beast, so he's not that much of a beast. Um, he does have the most kills in the team, though, and the most assists. But, you know, he's just fake and stuff. I don't know. I'm just being weird. So, um, Solok is going to be going back, and right now, um, some things to point out are that there is going to be a hex track, uh, or a hex drinker on uh, Young Buck, and Riley is going to have a Riggles and two Dorn's play, uh, shields, I mean, on Warwick. That's kind of strange, you usually don't see um, Riggles on the laning Warwick. Um, I personally disagree with it. Um, but you know that's just him. We've got oracles on uh, Alibaba and Funi and Alibaba are going to go and come in for the gank on Riley. Riley is going to get knocked up by two people, three people now, and he is going to go down. Here comes the ultimate from Belgian Beast, and they are going to dive solo. Youngbuck's really close to death, but he is going to be just fine, and solo does get picked up by the Belgian Beast, and uh, they are going to go for this tower right now. Um, works is. Um, Pushing back mid, but he cannot save top, and top tower is going to go down, so they have got another tower down, and they, they're going to just keep pushing for the inhibitor turret. Um, I am unsure if they fix it. Oh, they're actually going to dive Asbol. Asbol is going to go really low really quickly, and is going to go down. Warwick's really close to death. Sneaky's almost went down to the tower, but it's going to be just fine. And ooh, that card almost hit him. Funi is going to dive into the Nexus tower. Not the best position to be in. Riley didn't have the best ultimate he could have, but he did all, and he is not going to go down. Actually, he might be going down. Here comes the stun guard, and he's really close to death. They do take down the inhibitor turret, while um, Foodie and Belgian Beast are keeping the rest of the team of Infixi Aeternoi away from their own turret. So they did take down this inhibitor turret. As soon as they kill one or two people, they're going to be able to go in and take the inhibitor, and that's going to give them a massive lead. Uh, they are 13k ahead, so... Um, it's looking really good for Lowland Lions right now. And um, Belgian Beast is actually going to pick up Riley. Sorry for missing that one. Didn't expect the burst. Um, but you know, he has Twisted Fate. So yeah, and he's got a Rabidance. He's got 300 AP. So with his wild cards, he's going to do 500 damage. Almost 500 damage. And that's that's quite a, that's a good amount of damage. Yeah. I wouldn't mind doing that much damage. He's got 14k as well, so he's probably going to be picking up a Sheen, which means that he might be doing actual 500 damage, and he's going to have his Sheen Brooks. Um, where is he? Here he is. And, um, yeah, 
other items of interest. It's uh, interesting to see that Alibaba has three gold per tens plus the gold per ten um, runes and masteries that he has. So that means he's got a massive amount of gold ticking in. You can actually see it. Um, if you look at the rate at which he's getting gold, he's getting so much gold uh, compared to the rest of his team. It's kind of ridiculous. But yeah, that's what I do. He's got an Oracles as well. Uh, so that means they've got very good map fishing. And um, Invicti Eternite does not. They've got three watts here. Uh, no words anywhere else. But you know, they don't really need anything else. Because here's where the Baron is. And there's going to be one ward here um, for Infecti Eternite. The other, only other one is the Triangle Brush here, or the Tri Brush. And it's going to be running out um, pretty much now. So. Um, and uh, the rest of them probably got cleared or never put down. And um, Funi and Sneaky are being sneaky. Um, that was a really bad pun. And they are going to be standing this brush hoping that someone will check. But there's no face check coming in. Bajin Beast is going to be poking with his wild cards. And they are going to go for the star right now. And Tara is going to definitely go down. In fixing turn, it doesn't even bother to try and protect it. And you know... Uh, Lowland Lions could be going for Baron right now, and most people would probably go for Baron. Um, but they don't need to, and that's why they're not doing it. They can just pressure uh, just as well without Baron. Um, they don't need to force anything, because they are quite a bit in lead. They've got a 15.5k advantage, uh, which is a lot of gold. And um, they also have quite a bit of a level advantage. I mean, um, Warwick's isn't even level 11 and Sneaky is going to go down almost immediately he's going to get a lot of doors on him but so many heals from Soraka he is going to go down, Funi is going to go down as well Warrix goes down but that doesn't really matter because they killed Sneaky and Funi, Youngbuck is really close to death and they've only lost one till now, they're going to possibly take down Alibaba no it's not going to quite happen because the E of Asphalt didn't hit but that was well played by Infixi Arturna there and they might be able to take a Baron out of this and that might mean a comeback from them and um, then again, Lowland Lions will be able to pressure them with just the Belgian Beast and Young Buck. Um, they want to go for the tower, but they've got no means yet. They really want to go for it now, and Alibaba is baiting them a bit. And the thing is that Foodie and Sneaky just came back, and um, if it's your turn out really low mana, they have to take down the sword and retreat immediately. If they don't go back quick enough, they're going to freaking die. Um, but they will be just fine. They're going to go back right now. And um, they probably have to go wreck really quickly. Um, I don't know if that was the best call because if they go back now, uh, Triple L could be going for the Baron. Oh, they're not going to. Belgian Beast is going to pick up his blue, which he needs pretty badly. And um, for the people that are wondering, the one person that is wondering, this is the ESL Benelux, which is um, Belgium, the Netherlands, and Luxembourg. And um, apparently, there's an ESL for that region. And that's what this is. It's run free, and um, Lowland Lions is quite a bit in the lead. They've got 10 kills up and 5 turrets up, uh, which gives them a total of about 14.4k uh, gold lead. And there is a Lich Pain and a Rowlands on. Uh, oh, sorry for that. On Mr. Belgian Beast. Um, because he is Belgian and a beast. So right now, Triple O is looking for a fight. They really want to fight this because they know that they're stronger. Um, there's probably nothing that low, uh, that Infixi Arturni could do. Um, because they are quite a bit behind in the levels. I mean, the lowest level on Lowland Lions is level 12. And the highest level on uh, Infixi Arturni is level 13. And they are going to be initiating. Asbo is going to get stunned twice in a row. And he is going to go down most likely. Yeah, there you go. A Belgian Beast getting really low thanks to Sarlok's ultimate. But it's not going to be quite enough. Actually, he is going to go down. And here comes his ghost. But it's not going to be doing much. Shungba goes in. Uh, Warwick goes down. Uh, Sarlok getting really low. Going for Alibaba. Not going to pick him up though. And that is going to be a 1 for 3 exchange. And... Uh, Lowland Lions is going to be ghosting uh, Youngbuck is, and they are going to be picking up Anguish as well, really well played by them. Uh, nice flash Q from the Nautilus. Um, Funi is actually going for a Tear of the Goddess and an Aegis, he's going full support with a Tear of the Goddess, which is kind of funny. And apparently uh, Infixia Tuna is mad bro. So they're going for this turret and... Um, 
And um, they are going to go for this inhibitor and probably going for the other inhibitor as well. I don't know why they're not speaking Dutch, because they're all Dutch. That's kind of strange. So Rally is going to be going quite low. It's not going to be enough yet, though. Warrix is there, but he's going to throw ya. It's not going to do much, though. And um, Oland Lines is just going to retreat. Belgian Beast is there, so they might be going for a Baron if they want. And that are actually probably going to go for this blue buff. I'm going to pick that up for Mr. Belgian Beast. And I don't know why I keep calling people Mr., but yeah, that's my thing now. So Alibaba is going really low, and he is going to go down really quickly. Blue buff did get picked up by Belgian Beast, and Belgian Beast is going to be kiting them a bit. And uh, Infixia Turna is seeing their chance here. They're going right for Baron, but Youngbuck is going to go for the inhibitor, and that's going to be two inhibitors down. That's not worth the Baron. And Baron actually... I don't know if that was a funny ultimate, or that that was the uh, Baron stopping in there, but uh, they are going to go for Funy right now, and they might be able to pick him up. Um, but, you know, then it's just going to be a kill, not even a Baron for a neighbor and that's not, that's not worth it. But I, don't, I think they've already front, they've already uh, realized they've lost this game, and uh, I don't think they're even trying right now. And uh, Youngbuck is going to be pushing, he's going to go right for the Nexus turrets if this continues, and uh, Solo going really low, is going to have to go back. Um, and here comes the Twisted Fate ultimate, and is he going to pick him up? Ooh, that was really close, and... Here comes an arrow. Ooh, that hit. Funny. Anguish is going to go down to Belgian Beast. Is Sarlok going to survive? No, he is not. And there goes another uh, champion for Infixio tonight. And Youngbuck is duking it out here with Mr. Marix. Doesn't really care. And um, they're going uh, to go and push this Nexus Tower now. They don't. There was no Baron pickup in this entire game. And Youngbuck is actually going to double dash into this. And Aspel is going to get away. Youngbuck getting quite low, but it's going to be okay. Warrix is going to go down. Well done there. Uh, massive damage from the um, Twisted Fate cards. And they are going to go for the second Nexus Tower right now. Nexus Tower is going to go down. Or is it Nexus Turret? I don't know. Nexus Turret. Tower Turret, same thing. So they are going to go for the um, Nexus right now. And that's, that's going to be a GG. As well as going to swap Youngbuck in and... There's some ulties getting thrown around just to make it look pretty. Um, Belgian Beast doesn't really care though, he's going to go for the Nexus. Sneak is going to pick up rarely. Aspel's going to actually bring Belgian Beast quite low, but it's not going to be enough to kill him. And um, there it goes, the game. So really well played by uh, Lowland Lions there. And um, honestly, I think they mostly won on the Twisted Fates uh, map presence and on the... Um, especially on the... Uh, Skarner being so far behind, um, Skarner was unable to do anything really because he was so far behind. It took him ages to get his Philosopher's Stone and um, yeah, he was just incredibly behind and Aspel actually didn't even finish tier 2 boots, nor did Anguish. Yeah, they they got destroyed um, and War uh, rarely seemed to be doing okay against Youngbuck but then, you know, two ganks and he had to go for double door and shield. Uh, which is not too great on Warwick. He also had to go for Wriggles, so that's not really you want to want to buy something you want to buy on a uh, lane wick. And um, pretty much the only one doing well in Infixio Eterna was uh, Sarlok. Um and even he was having trouble because Belgian Beast was getting the feed from the other lanes. And that's the strength of a Twisted Fate in good hands. You can just teleport everywhere, put pressure everywhere, get kills. And um, the only person with a perfect score is going to be Youngbuck. Well done by Mr. Crocodile there. And um, yeah, that was pretty much it. Thanks for watching everyone. I see that a few people just tuned in. Sorry, I kind of missed it. And I um, don't know why I got an invite. So um, thanks for watching everyone. Uh, both the people that watched the stream and the people that watched the um, video. I will see you guys later.